Now this was a fucking good horror movie. Hey everyone, welcome to the review. Here's my review for the movie Ghost Stories. Yes, Ghost Stories stars Martin Freeman, Indy Nyman, Nicholas Burns, and Alex Lothar. And this movie is directed by Jeremy Dyson and Andy Nyman, who's in this movie as the professor. And the story of this movie, this horror thriller, is an anthology horror film. Yes, everyone knows that I love an anthology horror film. Like, I love like, movies like Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, and I like movies like uh, Trick or Treat and stuff. I just really like anthology horror stories and stuff, and I even like some seasons of American Horror Stories. Some seasons don't work, but some seasons I really enjoy and stuff, because I like anthology stories, and all different stories that I tie in together and shit like that, and this is a very unique and very, I think will be a very overlooked film uh, this year, Ghost Stories. Super good. Um, basically, the story of this movie is about this professor played by Andy Nyman, the director of this movie as well. Um, basically, it plays this professor who, like, debunks, like, uh paranormal things and everything, and basically he finds these three case files, and then he reads these case files, and these are the three stories that we watch in this movie and stuff, the story of these three case files. One of them is like this night watchman, he's in this like a sane asylum, and he's getting like getting these, all these weird, creepy visions and stuff. Another story is like this uh, young kid who gets into this really bad, very hellish car accident. And then there's the third story with Martin Freeman, and basically he's getting, like, visited by, like, this poltergeist, and it's, like, his unborn child and shit like that. Best story, I think, in my opinion, and basically they all tie in together and stuff, and they add up to something that, which I won't spoil. I won't spoil too much about this movie. All I gotta say is, see this movie. If you can find any screening for this film, please check it out. Like, Ghost Stories... I loved this movie. I had so much fun with it. Like, it was... Like, I saw Truth or Dare just before it, and I hated Truth or Dare, and this one just... I'm like, yes! This is... This was a fucking good movie! Really good. Good performances. Martin Freeman's really great. A lot of these other actors that I'm not very familiar with, they all give very good performances. Each of the stories were really good. It was pretty fucking terrifying, too. There were some genuine scares, genuine chills and atmosphere in this film. This is a really well-directed film. Like, these directors really know horror. Yes, Jeff Madlow, who directed Trick or Treat, he doesn't know horror, but these guys, they know horror. They know tension. They know scares. This is a chilling and very creepy, unsettling film, and... Yeah, there were some moments that really got me and stuff like that, and the stories are very interesting. Again, I love anthology stories. Sure, um, when you watch a really good story, one story is not as good as the other story, but all in all, the three of them all work really well and stuff, and I think this is a very well-constructed, very well-executed film, and I thought the direction, the atmosphere, everything about this movie did work. It was a genuinely ch chilling and pretty terrifying horror anthology story. It's a very mystery, it's a mystery movie, too. With their, there were some pretty good twists and turns. One of them I did see kind of coming, but they throw a couple other curveballs at you, and there were some pretty good, again, twists in this film that I just, I'm like, whoa, damn, this movie's ballsy, and it's a very ballsy film, and yeah. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this movie. Again, uh, some people might not be, uh, some, might, some people might get a little too off-put about this film, but honestly, check this one out. It is really good. It's a really well-constructed film, really well-directed, really well-written. These filmmakers really know what they're doing, and yeah, I had a blast with this one. It's not flawless. It's not like a perfect horror film, but it is a really good, small, little indie anthology horror film that I can definitely recommend. So yeah, if you can find a screening for Ghost Stories, definitely check it out. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Ghost Stories an 8.6. 7 out of 10. Had a blast with this one. Definitely one of the most overlooked films that will probably come out this year. I'm just calling it. It might not be. Some people might, maybe a lot of people will see it and like love it too, but I feel like this is going to go overlooked. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Ghost Story. So in the comment section, well, please tell me what is your favorite anthology horror film? Comment below. Let me know. My favorite is Trick or Treat. Even though Season of the Witch is like, you know, I have, I have a soft spot for, this, that, for that movie and I love this movie too now, but Trick or Treat's my favorite anthology horror... Uh, uh, favorite anthology horror movie. Yeah, but what is your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.